Hey everyone, welcome back for another week of Tiny Tots. This week we are going to learn all about the letter S. But first, some book recommendations. So this week our topic is seahorses. So this first book that I have, some of you may have read before, it's Eric Carle's Mr. Seahorse. And this one is a lot of fun because some of the pages are transparent. So you can actually see it things hiding behind them. So this is a pretty fun one you'll have to check out. This one, The Life Cycle of a Seahorse, is a lot of, um, tells a lot of fun facts about seahorses. Like for instance, did you know that they can change colors, usually to blend in with their surroundings? Highly suggest that you check this one out. And lastly, Chris Butterworth's Seahorse, The Shyest Fish in the Sea, illustrated by John Lawrence. And just like the last one, this one has a lot of fun facts and great illustrations about seahorses. Let's begin. In this week's Take and Make Kit, you should have received this practice sheet. Follow along as we learn how to write an uppercase letter S and a lowercase letter S. I think S's are a lot of fun because it's one fluid movement the whole time for each. They're very similar, um, so for an uppercase letter S, you're going to start at the very top line and you're going to curve all the way down and once you hit this middle line, you're going to start to curve back until you touch the bottom. So you start up here, curve all the way around. For a lowercase letter S, you do the same thing, except you only do it on half. Um, so it's about half the size of the uppercase. So you start right here at the dotted line, and you're gonna curve all the way down to the bottom. One fluid line the whole way through. And there you have it an uppercase letter S and a lowercase letter S. We've learned what an uppercase letter S looks like and a lowercase letter S, but what words begin with the letter S? S is for seal. S is for saw. S is for soup. S is for sunflower. And S is for socks. In this week's Take and Make Kit, you should have received instructions, other words that begin with the letter S, tissue paper pieces, and two seahorses. We are actually only going to use the outline for this though, but feel free to color this one however you would like, and transfer paper. Step one, remove the white film from your transfer paper, but do not throw it away just yet. You're gonna keep the sticky side up. Step two, have an adult assist you with taping your transfer paper down to a table, sticky side up. Step three, place your seahorse outline onto the transfer paper. And remember, we're just going to use the outline for this project. Step four, place the colored tissue paper pieces inside of your seahorse outline. And try to keep them on the inside of your outline so that you have enough sticking out around the outside to stick onto a window. Step five, when finished, place the transfer white transfer paper film back over. Step six, have an adult assist you with cutting around the seahorse. 
leave about one inch around so that it has enough sticky stuff to stick on the window. Lastly, we are going to remove the white film and stick it onto a window or any glass surface. And you can watch the light illuminate through. And, then, and there you have it, your seahorse stained glass. We'll see you next week as we learn all about the letter T.